The Blank Company presents... Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! The Adventures of Superman. Eighth wonder of the modern world. Marvel of physical strength and endurance beyond anything humanity has ever known. Miraculous visitor from another planet. Moving on Earth to aid the weak and helpless. Rescue the suffering. Bring help to brave and devoted men who serve their country. And if you too would be a Superman. And now, Superman. Yesterday we left Superman in desperate straits. Agents of a strange and foreign power are conspiring to blow up the Y-boat, newest of American submarines, which the Navy plans to launch at exactly noon. Gagged and bound, Commander Richards, USN, in charge of construction, has been spirited away to a tidal cave to await death at high water. As we continue our story today, an amazing figure hurtles through space, faster than a bullet, in a series of tremendous bounds. Red cloak streaming out behind, yellow shield on his breast catching the light of the sun, Superman heads toward the submarine base with Commander Richards in his arms. You're all right. Perfectly safe. Who are you? Where are you taking me? Never mind who I am. I'm taking you back to your submarine. But how? There isn't time. What time is the launching? Exactly noon. It's now 11.45. Fifteen minutes to go, Commander. Don't look down. I can't believe what's happening. It's insane. Not possible. Thousands of miles an hour. That's not a hundred miles to go, Commander. Hi, it won't take us a minute. Look, I'm slowing down already. Planting toward the sea. Hold on. Don't drop me. Don't worry. If I did, I'd dive after you. Look, Commander. Slowing down. You know what I'm going to do? Well, circle around and see what's doing. If you're right, your friend the shark is planting his stuff for the big blowout. If that's the case, speed up again. I thought you were afraid. I am... But I'm more afraid of what will happen if we don't get to the submarine base by noon. You're a brave man, Commander. And that's why I'm helping you. Look, up there ahead. Know where you are now? Hey, it's the base. At the head of the inlet. Right. The submarine base. 9,000 feet down. Hang on this time, Commander. We're going to dive. Oh, it's killing me. I can't breathe. Wait. Turn your face this way. There, how's that? Tell me something, quick. Is that the white boat? There's a dock. I don't see. Too far off. It is. There are people waiting. Men coming off the deck. That means they're ready. There's much time to go. You hear the shark say where he be? Aboard. In the battery room. Till the very last minute. They're going to wire the controls. And when the bottle swings against the bow, I understand. It fires the atom bomb. And by that time, the shark and his friends will be out of the way. Look, Commander. That boat's in the water. Only part of it. The rest is on the ways. Quick. Is there an entrance underwater? Torpedo lock, porthole, anything like that? Quick, man. Yes, but why... We've got to get there. Get there unseen and destroy that bomb. You know how we're going to do it? We're going to swim. We'll be torpedoes ourselves. You can't. There's an observation window, but it's locked. How big is it? Three feet square. And a foot thick? That's no use. Think not? Just wait, Commander. Wait and watch what happens. What is the window open on? Stern torpedo room. Can we close it off? We break in, so will the ocean. There's a boat, Ed. But you can't even reach the submarine. They won't let you pass. I said we were swimming. Both of us. Oh, wait. Stop. You'll drown me. I'll smother. No, you won't. Not with me. Superman's friends don't drown. We're diving down and swimming to that boat underwater, Commander. And here we go. Down. A thousand feet. Eight hundred. Four hundred. One hundred. Hang on, Commander. We're hitting the sea. There. That should do it. Almost ready, I think. Good, my friends. Excellent. So let me get these bring down the champagne, huh? The next boat on the Y boat, or whatever they call it, will be no more. What is the time? Five minutes to twelve. In exactly five minutes, it will be noon. But when the launching will be made, with champagne and what else? Very good, sir. But what about us? We walk off at the last moment of our gun my friends. Two workmen 
applying the finishing touches and how to and stay in the dark to see what happens. No, there will be no documents. No dark, no wire boat, and even very little submarine base. You and I will leave at once by motor, then by plane. Wait, what was that? I heard the scraping sound outside the hull. The boat moving on the tide against the dark. Yeah, no doubt. Speaking of the tide, about now I could find the commander should also be moving to a higher and we trust more on the mental sphere. He would drown in this game. Assuredly, he would drown my friends. For being too clear and finding out too much. Uh, wouldn't that go on for agent? Take us, he said. I know the consequence. So, one moment. Tell she things, these items. They force some a thousand tennis shirts. Not so far. If he should explode now, be easy, Fritz, be easy. To explode, his bomb needs to be toasted in champagne. If he truly meant her, when the bottle hits the bow, the firing pin is cut with the wire. The spark here in the battery room leads to the bomb and boot. Another minute gone, yes, that's all we can all fetch. Out of the south. We just make the back. Enter our water and be all. Shop work. This way, sir. Stop, stop. Lock the door as you leave. What's oh, going No time. All right, look at it. Get it. Get it. That's great. That's right. Leave him. Leave him. Don't stop. I'll deny it. It's right, my friend. It's right as always. Come along. Two words work for the other Marines. And maybe the Yankees enjoy their lunch. <laughs>
approaching the submarine base along Great Park screams to a halt. The shark leaps out to gaze down in unbelief and shouts wildly to his companion. And on the dock itself, a scene of sudden shattering confusion. The bottle upraised for christening, fate trembling in the balance. In the submarine, Commander Richards waiting grimly for the final moment. Stares death in the face as the fatal wire remains unfound. And Superman, where has he gone? What has he done? For the next installment of this thrilling new radio serial, tune in again tomorrow, same time, same station. And in the meantime, here's a final word. If you enjoy hearing about Superman, don't forget that you can follow his adventures each month in the pages of that exciting comic book, Action Comics, on sale at your local newsstand. Remember, tomorrow, same time, same station, the makers of Blankarine will again bring you... Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! <laughs> <laughs>